Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here today with a video on products that I have hit pan on. You know, it's very rare that you look down and you're like, I have a lot of products I've hit pan on, but we're here, so I wanted to share them with you, give you little mini reviews, what I repurchase, what I think, and all of that. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here okay, we go. Some of these are project pan, and some of them are not project pan, so I'll just kind of mix them up mix them you know the first one that is project pan is this tart exposed highlighter this is just like a little sample guy that i had gotten some point over the years and i really like it i think it's a nice highlight um it's definitely one that is more natural or you can build it up to be more intense but look at her so what i've been using or doing my technique to use this up is I have learned that I love layering highlights, and I'll talk about this here with the, this other product too, but if I'm trying to use a, like, a cream highlight, I'll do a cream highlight, let's just talk about it right now, which is the Stila Kitten Heavenly Hue. This one is so old, but again, it was a little bit expensive, and it was a gift from my husband a couple of years ago, and I just love it. I don't want to just throw it away because it's like an older product. And because it just sits like on this part of my face, like I really don't mind using it even though it's a little bit older. But as you can see, we are making progress. I finally got into a groove where I'm using it every single day. So when I do my foundation, well I'll do my foundation, then I'll put this on. Then I'll set everything with a powder. And then I'll take this tart. And I will take it on the tops of my cheeks, my brow bone, down my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So this one kind of goes everywhere. Um, oh, so exciting to see that pan. And then I'll like set my face, I'll do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll take one that's like a little bit more intense. Like you can see there's like this gold one. It's from the Wet n Wild Honey Limited Edition Duo. So I'll put that just on top of my cheekbones, but everywhere else is like, exposed highlight and I just really love that routine it allows me to use products that I really love in different ways I do love the Tarte one on its own but I just really love blinding highlights it's like just a personal preference of mine that I just feel like every day I need to have one on <laughs> Um, so I love these two. I will be sad when they're out of my collection. I'm not going to repurchase them, but it's been a really nice ride with them. Okay, speaking of setting powders, I have three. Two uh, are in Project Pans, one is not. So the first is the IT Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination and Light. This is a repurchase. So I had had I had purchased this years ago, used it and loved it, and over the years I really wanted it. It was just hard to justify the price point because it's like, you know, in the $30 range. Um, but it had gone on sale, I forget for what exactly, and I picked it up and you can tell I loved it, I use it, I get so much use out of it. I only repurchased it like last summer, maybe some sometime last year, early last year, and I just love it. I have it on today to set my makeup. I have dry skin, so I take a lot of time using glowy products to make my skin look glowy. So it really upsets me when the setting powder is like kind of matte and then it mats out all the glowy effort I had put in. But because this one has some illumination in it, it keeps that glow alive and just sets all the work that I have already done um, with my makeup. So I really love this. I think this is one that I definitely would repurchase down the road. Um, probably on a sale so it might be a while but I really do love this guy and then the next one is Laura Mercier this is the press translucent so I have got this from that website Hope Look like three or four years ago is that website even around I have never I haven't gone to it in a long time but uh they were obviously Laura uh, Mercier was on there at one point, so I picked up this powder, and we are making moves. Sorry, that is Lily, my dog, drinking water. <laughs> Her collar, like, hits the bowl. <laughs> I really like this to set my under eyes because it's so finely milled that that's what I did today. It just, it's a little bit brightening, 
and does a good job setting under eyes. Full face, it does okay. I find it's like just a little too thin to set the full face. It's more of a finishing powder if you wanted to use it everywhere but under my eyes is how I've made this progress and so now that it's so low I just kind of focus on one area as I'm uh, putting my brush in it but I like this I wouldn't repurchase it um I don't love it that much but it's been a nice journey with it another product that I love this is not in a project pan I actually haven't pulled this in a little while but this is the makeup revolution this is the banana bake banana light bacon blot and you can see like the front has worn off i've had this one for a couple of years maybe longer um the top came off this is what it looks like on the inside so just like the laura mercier powder i like to use this under my eyes as a finishing under eye powder so i don't like to actually set my eyes with this because i think it's a little too thick for that but to do maybe like a lighter one like Laura Mercier because it's so fine that it sits well under there. And then take this like on top very lightly. It just brightens the face so nicely. Um, so I love having this one in my collection. I was using it so consistently but then I was like oh I don't want to finish it. Which is crazy because this is under $10. Like I can just go buy it if I finish it. But that's just... I don't know how I think about makeup. Do you guys get that way too? Uh, but I love this. Um, I'm pretty sure I would repurchase it or something similar to it. It's just like a nice way to finish off your makeup. All right. We have one more product that's like unofficially in a project pan. Basically, it's time will end at the end of 2021. Just because it's like dying a little bit like the smell is starting to get a little bit off but I've loved this so much and it's still available like I could repurchase it if I wanted but it's the makeup revolution this is the contour palette and I know a few of you guys have purchased this on my recommendation so I hope that you love it as well again <laughs> it's broke it broke um here's what it looks like so this one fell like I did have pan like it kind of looked like this one and then I accidentally dropped it and it just all fell out. But this one, we're doing pretty well. And then this highlight, we love that. These have dips and this has a dip, but there's obviously no pan. This has a dip and this doesn't have too much of a dip. But I just think that I would feel very accomplished if maybe I finished this one and this one. But we'll see, this one sits in my Makeup Basket Express, which is in my restroom. So days that I literally only have five minutes to do my makeup is when I'll grab for the makeup in there. And this really helps speed up the process because I can do the bronzer, I could touch a little contour if I just want to be a little, a little extra. Um, we can do under eye setting powder, we can do a highlight, and then I just have to reach into one blush to finish off the face powders. So I will be sad to see this go. I have so many other face palettes in my collection that I don't know that I would run out and repurchase this one necessarily, but it's been a good journey with it. All right, these last two are not in Project Pans. I just enjoy them so much. So this one, if you're new here, you know this is legendary in my collection, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I love this. I would repurchase it. And that's why I'm not really speeding through to finish it up because I know I'm going to go repurchase it. So I might as well just enjoy my journey with it. So here is the pan on it. And it's like, you know, really worn down here and a little bit so here as well. It's <laughs> like broken. I do have it on today. I just love this it agrees so much with my skin tone it's so easy to blend out it's just like it's the perfect bronzer in my humbled opinion and it's worth the 30 some dollars that it is but it goes on sale from time to time but i love this i will repurchase it one day when i run out but i'm in no hurry like it's still good the formula is still good there is no hurry here with this product. The last one is Ace Beauté. This is a Glimmer Shadow in Cotton Candy. This came in a BoxyCharm. Oh, like I've had it for a couple of years because I haven't gotten BoxyCharm in a while. But it's just a like mousse, mousse-like eyeshadow. Um, and I just love topping it Uh on any look like I would top it on this this little look that I got here if I wanted it just goes well with everything and I know this type of product has 
not a huge lifespan like I'm sure it's nearing its final days here in my collection but I've enjoyed it so much I really need to pull it more often than I do um, but this one is great <sighs> 10 products 10 products in my collection right now that have pan on them oh and let me show you this I had to move my chair so hopefully I'm not in too different of a spot but this basket has my makeup empties from the year so you can see we've been we've been making some moves last year I was able to fill it up so that's my goal for this year as well so it really makes me happy when I see these products have pan on them it gives me hope that we will actually fill this up because I feel like at this point with it being like late mid-August uh September October November we got four months I mean we might we might be able to make some moves but this is definitely encouraging when you see the the pan you know what I mean let me know down in the comments if you have hit pan on any products and if so how many is your number bigger than mine or is it smaller let me know in the comments subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video bye